Hello everybody, welcome to Andy's Bird Reviews. Thanks for joining me today, today, today. <laughs> keep on going. Uh, for this review from uh, Nailmaker, they're based in Barnsley. This is called Fall. This is the Bitter. Comes at 4.3% ABV. Got it from Yorkshire Craft Bitter Pay. Yorkshire Craft Bitter. Oh, it's one of those days, isn't it? Got it from Yorkshire Craft Beer. Where for this Bitter, I paid £3.20, I think it was. Crack it open. Let's see what it's like, shall we? I was brought up on beer. I was brought up on Yorkshire bitter. So this one's going to be interesting one to try. Oh yeah. Oh, ah, well. A little bit of that artistic shot there as that glides down the glass. There you go, it makes a mess absolutely everywhere. Excuse me for a second, I just tidy up my drinking area. I'm not normally so tidy, honestly. Right, so that has poured a slightly hazy, light amber colour uh, with a good white head. I'm going to call it white, it's a foamy head. Let's get the aroma, shall we? The bitter, we're not expecting much from it, but that's the nice thing about bitters, it's very simple, very simple like me. It's a very mild aroma. But I am getting a little bit of toffee. A little bit of tiny, a little bit of citrus, not a lot. Being honest. I can, I can sweet malt the toffee on it and that's really it. A little bit of light hint of citrus and that's all I'm getting from it. Right, let's taste it shall we. Cheers everybody. Oh. Ah. So we're we'll getting some caramel through on that one. Last day of work today. Uh, I've had the week off, so back tomorrow just for one day. Back back for Fun Friday. Two hours worked around the house, but I've done absolutely nothing. Um, Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. I'm um, getting a nice little bit of um, caramel full of flavour, a little bit of mild citrus. I'm getting a little bit of roastiness from the from the malts. I'm getting just a little bit of. Um, <clears throat> to me, it tastes a little bit like coffee. Definitely getting a mild, very mild coffee flavour coming from this as well. We'll have a look at the label later and just see if there's any reason for that. Which well, predominantly that sweet uh, caramel, a little bit of citrus. It's got a really nice um, bitter finish from it. Overall, I'd probably call it rich and fruity. It's malty, it's smooth, it's citrusy, it's sweet. Little lingering hoppiness coming through. A sweet a bit of sweetness on the end of it. It's quite enjoyable actually. Um rich one, luxurious beer with oh uh, said rich, didn't we? Uh, with caramel and toffee notes, perfect. 
uh, perfect surf eighty. Excuse me. Uh, Malts. Ah, it has got no, it's got some. It has got roast barley in it. So I wonder if I'm picking up that roastiness. My palate's picking it up as a little bit of coffee. Do you know cops? Gives it up. So we're going to get a little bit of uh, citrus off the off the uh, chino hops. Yeah, so it's got um, marisotta, uh, some wheat, some caramel, uh, some crystal malts in there as well. A little bit of uh, roast barley. I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased I picked that up. That is very different for a beer. Actually quite enjoyable. Um, yeah, so on the aroma, we got a little bit of toffee, a little bit of citrus. On the flavour, it came through as caramel, a little bit of mild citrus going on in there. Um, nice bit of finish. Picked up a little bit of um, roasted flavour, which I saw as a little bit of coffee. Overall, rich and fruity. Malty and smooth, sweet, and a little bit citrusy, uh, and a nice little, um, yeah, the nice little bitterness at the back end, but a very nice bitter all the same. I am going to score that eight out of ten. Eight out of ten from Andy's beer reviews. So what we are drinking tonight? Please enjoy it until the next review. Cheers, everybody.